So when it comes down to it, everything is on the left-hand side. You know, all you're going to really need to know is, is my communications, my pages, my forms, my videos, and my calendar. Got it. Got it. That's it. Right. That's it. So the other ones, you don't, it, they don't really apply to your business. That's the main menu. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's the main one. My communications, my pages, my forms, my videos, my calendar, those top five. So what I'm going to do is this right here, when you go to my communications, as, as leads start to come in, however, whether it's a seller guide, a buyer guide, just a, a, a list of potential clients, whatever, you'll start to see a list of all of your leads, just all out of order, just all a list of every lead right here. But as you click on list, so right here at the top, as you click on list, that's when you can start creating different lists. So seller guide leads list, buyer guide leads list, prospect list. This is where you can start creating all of your data. Okay? okay. And then in the middle at the top communications, that's where your sequence is. So the sequence is the email automation. So as a lead comes in, they, they see your Facebook ad, they're interested in your free download, they click, they enter their email, they um, receive an email right away. That's an automated email that's going to go out through your sequence. Yeah. Now that lead is on your list. So now that lead is going to start receiving emails every other day or every day or every three days, however you want to time it. That's all the sequence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to set up the sequence. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I'll walk you through all that. And this stuff's going to be simple. It might sound like it seemed like a different language. No, 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 no. I get it. You're going to catch I, on fast. And I then, and then the, the broadcast is when you want to just randomly set up, send out a one-time email. So if, 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 if there's headlines and interest rates drop or whatever happens in the market and you just want to oh, like a headline, that's, yeah. that's broadcast. Okay. <clears throat> send out a yeah. one-time one email to anybody in, in your database to a list. To, to whoever. Um, it's kind of a, a notification, like major notification. Got it, got it. No, not a notification, an actual email. So, so an actual email. So for example, um, Saturday, tomorrow, if I'm, if I just want to randomly have a, have a, have a zoom call for anybody who needs help with Kartra, I can come into my system, broadcast and send one email one time to everybody right now. Okay, good. Or to anybody on a list, on a specific list. Hey guys, this is David. I just randomly thought of having a Zoom call for anybody that needs help tomorrow at 9 a.m. Here's the, here's the link. I'll see you there. Like that's a quick email that I did not preset. I did not put in a sequence, so it wasn't automated. It was just a one-time email that went off right now, yeah. broadcast. I understand. I understand. And then analytics is where you can check the actual analytics of these emails, who's opening the email, who is not opening the email, all that is in real time. So yeah. as I send out emails, I know who's opening, I know who's unsubscribing, I can see all that in the analytics. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's communications and, and I'm going to send over a list, I'm going to send over a sequence, and then we'll work off of that. Um, but 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 it'll it'll make make it a little bit more it'll be yeah simple. yeah I kind of got it but yes thank you yes I, I kind of this part so, I is pretty clear but yeah yes yeah, so my pages my pages to the left click on that one this is where you now have all these templates that are already done for you you don't have yeah. to worry about being a designer a web yeah. designer all the templates are done for you so if you click on the green one um, page the the blinking click on that one and then over here now we have a list of all these different templates. So, so blank canvas is blank. My favorites are any favorites that you saved in the past, but it starts with the squeeze page. The squeeze page is the opt-in page. So as someone clicks on your ad, they come to a squeeze page. That's what we- I call remember you told me last time. Opt-in yeah, page, yeah, yeah. right? So there's many different templates that you can go off of. And, okay. and, and so if you click on any of them, go ahead and click on, on any of them. Yeah, just preview. So that's, that's a basic template. That's what you see online all day, every day. It's the same basic template that most marketers use. Um, video sales page, that's just a random page. These are, these are, these are, the squeeze page are primarily for, for, for those running ads. You click, you go to the squeeze page, you enter your name and email, you opt in. That's a squeeze page. But video sales pages can be put anywhere. Like for example, with me, if you go to my, if you go to my squeeze page and you opt in, you're now on my email list. You're now in my email sequence. You're now going to start receiving emails from me that are automated. The way I set mine up only because I go the extra mile, the way I stay right here on video sales page, the way I set my emails up 
only because I know the power of video. I understand yeah. the power of video and I'm not afraid to make video, right? Not everyone's like that. You don't have to do video, but let me just give an example of these video sales pages. I have these in my emails. So for example, as email number, you opt in, you download my free PDF. You're now on, in my sequence. You're on a list, but you're also in my sequence. You're now receiving automated emails. Let's say email number two, email number three, email number four, all these emails that start to go out automated after you opt in. What I do personally is I'll simply have an email. Email number four goes out. Hey, Gabriel, this is David. Hey, thank you so much. Hope all is going well today. Hope business is booming. Hey, in, in today's email, I want to talk to you about social media marketing for real estate agents. Click here to watch my newest video. And so when you click, that's in the email. When you click, it takes you out to a page where it's me on video. Watch, hover over any of them and click on it. Preview. Yeah, preview. So when you see my email, when you see my email, email number three, for example, you click and I take you to a video. That's just me. You don't have to do a video, but that's just me. So, so what I would do, for example, and what I do do is rather than explaining everything via text in email number three, I'm just a video person and I can get my message out better via video. So I'll have you click in the email, click here to watch my newest video. And then boom, you click, it brings you out to a page like this where there's a headline, there's a video, and my red button below, it doesn't say get the full system for only 99. My, my button would say something like, click here to schedule our next strategy call, right? Okay. So in your case, I'm downloading your seller guide. I receive email number three. Hey guys, this is Gabriel. Just wanted to come on video to give you a tip on what I advise my clients to do before they sell. And that could be a simple 40 minute or 40 second video. And then in the video, you're saying, hey guys, and by the way, if you'd like to schedule a call, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Right. I, I've done the video already. Well, well, this is video sales pages where we can set up a, you know, many. This could be okay. email number three, email number four, email number five, where it's just Gabriel coming in video form every other day with a button that takes him to the calendar. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. So, so now as I'm educating that person on the process of selling, I'm not just doing it through a boring via text email. They're continually seeing my video on the page with a call to action. I'm saying at the end of the video, hey guys, and by the way, click the button, it'll take you to my calendar, right? So that's a different form of marketing and that's simple. That's so simple. It's not even funny. But a lot of times, most don't have the time to do a video. Most don't have the time to put all these pages together where they're there. That's the template. It's, it's already there. It's already done. All we got to do is change the color, change out the text, change the text on the button. Click here to schedule your call rather than get the full system for only 99. So the template is already there. You can delete anything. You can remove anything. So that's what I do with video sales pages. I just simply put them in my emails. Thank you pages is when I go to your squeeze page and I opt in. I put my name and email, click, I click to download my seller guide. Then I'm taken to a second page. That's the thank you page. So these are just different templates um, for the thank you page. The thank you page is so important when it comes to online advertising, especially in this case with Facebook ads. Because as I go to your opt, as I go to your squeeze page, I enter my name and email, I click the button to download my free seller guide. I'm then taken to a thank you page. That thank you page is what Facebook tracks. So anybody who lands on that thank you page is a lead. That's how we can start looking at our cost per lead. We can start looking at um, how many leads came in because we're tracking how many people landed on that page. Mm -hmm. That page is hidden from, 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 from the search engines. So no one can land on that page unless they opt in. The thank you page. That's the most important page in marketing. It's a the thank you page. Okay. Yes, that's the thank you page. So on that page, watch hover over the first one, the yellow one, click on preview. So as I go to your squeeze page, I opt in, I download your free seller guide. I then come to the thank you page. This could be a simple video. Hey guys, this is Gabriel. And about the four points, I got your text the other day about the four bullet points. That's where you, that's where that lead lands on this thank you page. There's a quick video on Gabriel. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my 2021 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. My name is Gabriel. I'm with this company. Just wanted to personally introduce myself, let you, let you know a little bit about my background and why I'm so excited to help people sell in today's market. And by the way, check your email because I just sent over your free PDF. 
the title of the, of the of the email is your free seller guide. So make sure you check spam. Sometimes it lands there, but but it should be in your, your inbox within the next two minutes. And by the way, check for my next few emails coming up in the next couple of weeks, because I'm going to be educating you on what it takes to sell in today's market. You're not going to want to miss an email. And if you guys have questions, if you're in the market, if you just need to, need to get some answers to your questions, click the link below, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So that, that's, that's the thank you page. That's a simple video, 45 seconds. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. Number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call. Those are the four bullet points on the thank you page. Um, that's, that's a video. So not only am I seeing Gabriel in the Facebook ad, but I'm also seeing him in video on the thank you page. And then if you go the extra step, now you put these video sales pages in your emails. Now I'm seeing Gabriel's face again via video in my emails. Be before you know it, Gabriel, it doesn't take many videos before, before an individual psychologically becomes indoctrinated. After they see several videos, three, four, five videos from an individual, we automatically are programmed, our mind, our brain, we automatically think that we know him, that we like him, and that we can trust him, especially if he's delivering education and, and good content that I'm actually interested in. And I'm actually interested in this because I would have never downloaded his seller guide in the first place. Okay. okay. That's why video is so powerful. But again, not everyone does it and, you know, whatever. But but that can be powerful. That's the thank you pages. And so hit the X, the, the red X in the top right. Yeah, I get many different templates. Again, I have the squeeze page. I have the thank you page. I already have it that I can, I'm going to just transfer it to your account right now um, um, to make it a little easier. But in the future, you can always look at these different templates got it, got and, and work off of them. Um, so I wrote down thank you page is the most important because you measure yeah, the squeeze page spot. and thank you page, squeeze page and thank you page. Because oh, because, squeeze page. Too. Okay. Yes, because, because as someone, as someone, and those are the only two pages we need. That's it. All the other pages, there's many different pages below, but it's really just squeeze page thank you page in in your business to to build a huge business online to capture as many leads as you could possibly handle it's those two pages that's it but the squeeze page that's tracked as well so as people click on the ad they go to the squeeze page to enter their name and email to download the seller guide yeah. guess what not everyone is some people are going to click go to your web page and leave for whatever reason but on the squeeze page there's two things that are going on we have our Facebook pixel tracking that click, tracking the visit. And then we also have that link, that, that URL of the squeeze page. We also have that set up as a custom audience. So anyone who lands on that squeeze page and they do not opt in, we retarget them with another ad, right? So that's the whole omnipresent and retargeting. It happens from the squeeze page. Those that land there but never opt in, they're 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 being tracked, and we're gonna we're gonna show them another ad, right? So so here is just many different templates. Many many you can click on all of them. Long form, long sales page, coming soon, product launch. There's so many different templates um, that you can you can work off of. And and squeeze page, thank you page. It is what it is. First page, second page. But to tell you the truth, all these templates I can call a squeeze page. Any of these templates I can call a thank you page. Right. So so all the different designs are there. Um, and so hit cancel. So that's my pages. All of the templates are there. My forms. That's when someone comes to your page and enters their name and email. On right. that form, I can choose to ask for more info. I, I can that. choose to ask for the phone number. I can choose to ask them a question. Right. But when it comes to online marketing, most people are willing to give up their name and email quick rather than more information. No, I agree. Right. I agree. Right. Absolutely. So, so the form is what sits on the page, on the squeeze page. That's the form. That's what they're entering their name and number, their name right. and email into. That's its own separate asset. That's why it's under my form and it's not just on the squeeze page. It's a form that has to be put on the page. Um, very, very basic, very simple. I'll walk you through all this, but that's the Got form. It. And then Got my it. videos, that's where you will simply upload your video. So your video has to be hosted somewhere. Um, some people host it on YouTube, but I'd rather just host it on, on Kartra. So that video for the thank you page, for example, that's where we would upload here. In fact, you, I got it. you have it already? Yeah. yeah oh, perfect. Let's upload it right now. Click on the green one. 
click on the green one. Let's upload it right now. Yeah, of course. I did. Yeah. Upload, so upload one, one video. video. I get it. I need to browse it. Okay. Let's let's name it. Let's, um, what let's are you? give it a video name. We could just put thank you video. Thank Seller you guide, video. thank you video. Thank you, thank you. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Seller guide, thank you video. Perfect. And then why don't we put it in a category? We're going to start categorizing everything. We're going to categorize our pages. We're going to categorize our videos. Um, so let's let's go ahead and click on, get out of there. Click on um, right below, you see manage my categories. Click on that. I need to, I need to create one, right? Yeah, let's just, we might as well. We'll get in the habit of, of creating categories. So maybe seller guide. Thank seller you. guide. Perfect. Seller guide. That's it. Yeah. Give me a second. And then we add it to the idea. Yes. Add, so. Add and select it right now. Yep. Right? And then now, now, no, 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 not the X. Now we're going to click on done. Oh, and then, and then I. It brings us back. And then we hit the drop down. And there it is there. And then create. Perfect. So now we give it a name. We put it in the category. We're going to upload video. Okay. Give me a second. I put it. Yep. No. Yes. Yeah, so here's what we'll do. So hit display. Click on display. Let's look at all the drop downs. So we're going to look at all the drop downs. Display. Okay. We're fine there. Click on settings and hit the drop down. And so with settings, we can add a, a, um, a thumbnail, which is your splash image. So a thumbnail is just a simple image. So, so that one's fine right there. That image is fine right there, but that's, that's, that's the actual video, right? You can yeah, yeah. do that, or you could have, you could have uploaded an actual picture that you took that splash image, but you don't need it. Logo watermark. That's just the logo. And then, and then the skin color. So if you, if you hit the, the left, the right arrow of the skin color, select skin color, all that does is changes the play button. So you can play around and, and, and change the play button if oh, you I wanted to. Many different variations and I can leave it blue. blue so is, show yeah, controls. Right. You can you can show controls or or not. You can mute on start, auto play on load. So many different settings. Um, What's the most popular? The one they like. I would to just do? I would just auto play on load. Um, show social share. You don't need anyone. You don't need anyone doing that. Leave that one off. You don't need anyone sharing this part. Um, show playback speed. I mean, that's fine. And then that's it. So call to action. So at the call to action, what we can do also, we won't do it now, but hit the drop down for call to action. One second. Let me approve him to leave early. So call sorry, to dude. actions is simply when a person's watching this video, hit the drop down on call to actions. We have three, four people leaving. That's what it is. They are looking for other jobs. Can you believe it? Anyway. Gotcha. Okay. So, so new call to action. You can always put a, a button that takes them straight to your calendar, but that's more advanced. We don't need that right now. So just public okay. video, the green one, and we're done. Oh, so, really? That's it? Can yeah, I publish? Yeah, public publish. Video. So, so now that video is hosted on Kartra. Now we could take <clears> it to a thank you page and put right. it on the page. So, so I know my pages. I'm going to transfer the pages to you right now, just to keep it okay. super simple. Sure, but, put it on the desktop or whatever you want to, right? No, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a code, a share code inside of Kartra. Oh, okay. It, it takes right. one minute. So let's go to my calendars real quick. So now we have the video up there. We'll get back to that. Click on my calendars and let's just get the calendar up really quick. Got it. And, and we can always change the settings later. So yeah, of course. Yeah. Hit the green one to the right. And we're going to just simply create a consultant model calendar that's the most basic that's what i use that's what a lot of real estate agents that's great the, yeah create got it okay perfect so now name, name it Gabe. your real no. estate business real name it name it the um i want these properties okay yeah sounds good okay. and what i what i do is i use i i use my calendar for everything gabriel like everything 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 not just seller guide calendar. no i agree like I'm gonna, I like I highly recommend you using it for all your appointments. Absolutely, in real estate. So there oh, you have the logo. You know, two fifty by fifty. That's where it would sit at the top. You can change the colors, the scion blue. You can hit the arrow there at the bottom and change the colors of of the of the of the font there. Okay. Um, so if you move that arrow at the bottom, move that select template at the bottom. Hold on, hold on, I'm missing. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Got so you can just change the different see, colors. Um, to whatever color you, you like. So oh, kind of basic, basic. So scroll back up. So now that's step one is the logo, the color. Now we hit the green one safe and then it takes us to the next step. We're working with these steps at the top. 
don't know. Should I? I need a picture. No, it's okay. okay. You could. Yeah, you could. Actually, we won't put your your picture there. We're gonna put it somewhere else. Okay, got it. But but no there just goes your logo. So if you hover over logo, you can edit that, and that's where your logo, any type of logo, would go. But you want the logo to, to fit the dimension two fifty by fifty. Ah, I see. I you see. know, so so. Um, no problem. No problem. Let's move on. Always yeah. put that in later. So hit save at the top, the green one. Right. So that, yeah. That's that step. So we're working with this scale at the top. Schedule, registration, success, reminders, yeah, yeah. permissions. We're going from left to right. So save and next. Now we go to schedule. Save and next. Uh, so um, <clears throat> now we have you. Yeah, you just hit the green one. Yes, I understand. And then so here. At the top, scroll to the top. Here we have a title, and then go to the very top. Go to the top, scroll to the top. So here we have a class title. We have a class description, right? So there's an example, yoga class advanced, our weekly class for advanced. So that just shows on the calendar. Right. Um, you could just put anything for now, and then you can always, you know. What about when someone tries to call me? Should I create something? Or, all right, so I can put. Uh... When someone tries to what? To contact me, do I need to put something now to to, well, to block it? No. If someone contacts you, that that's one thing. But if someone's going to your calendar, then that's another. But okay, gotcha. gotcha. But this is just your calendar. So the title, the description, you know, you can you can put anything um, pertaining so, to your real estate business, obviously. So. Um. um so I should create like um, a training type of material. That's what you go. No, no, no. This is just a title of, of your of the calendar. Like when someone goes to your calendar, go to my calendar, open up a new tab. Yeah, yeah. No, just open up a new tab at the top. Open up a new tab. Just a new tab, a, a new browser, a new tab at the top. Oh, I got you guys. So go to go to zoom call with david.com zoom call with david.com and you can see it this is basic this is super simple basic stuff zoom call with david.com and you can always change this later so i just want you to see my title and my my um the subtitle or whatever so mine is just simply um it's it's um where's it at it's, oh i see what you're talking about so here. social media strategy call that's that's my title. Social. Ah, business. okay, that's why you're hitting. So maybe real. Aha. Okay, so like a real estate advice. No, a real. Yes. Estate. Yeah, something like that. Your yeah, real estate consultation call or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, know, I get it now. What you're talking? About. I, I didn't understand exactly how what's going on here. Thank you. Consultation call. For buying and selling real estate perfect and then you can always change the duration you know um yeah, I get hour, it. you know so you can change that and then and then I'll put an hour maybe i guess huh? yeah, so that's fine yeah. you can yeah and then select team member so you're going to choose your name right there and then you're going to click on add and then available days this is all based on your schedule so this is where we're going to we're going to simply go off of your schedule when what days are you taking real estate calls you know Monday, I can put it later. That's right. Can I? Oh, and I modify. Okay, I adjust for yeah. each day. You know what? But but before you choose all of them, let's go. Let's go a few at a time because I don't. Or unless it's the same time for all, is it the same? No, it's time? not. Yeah. Okay. So Saturday and Sunday, select time. So let's do Saturday and Sunday first. So to the right, select time. What time is Saturday and Sunday? Obviously not at one a.m. But okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. Let's put reasonable <laughs> 9 a.m. to give me some. Oh, so I have to put. No, no, oh. no, they're one hour. So go 9, 10, 11. So they're one hour durations. I see. I see what you're talking about. So you got 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to put more because obviously. Yeah. So 20, 1 p.m. Perfect. Two and four at least. Perfect. Same thing for. And then we'll do add. And then now select the days and go 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 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and whatever, whatever time. Ah, I see, I see. That makes sense. Yeah. And the same thing, right? Uh, select whatever time. Yeah, if it's after you know five p.m. or whatever, any 
Yeah, I'll put six. Perfect. Perfect. And I can put seven and eight. Why not? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now to the very, very right, you have all the months. The January, February, March, that's all in the past. So we want to uncheck any previous date. So let's uncheck everything up to today's date. So we're going to go July and then and then July 1st. Let's even change that to today's date. Today's the 23rd. And the reason for that is because if I go to your calendar right now, and if you had everything checked, if I go to your calendar right now, I'll be able to schedule a call in January of 2022 mm -hmm. because you have it checked, right? So me, when it comes to my personal calendar, like if you go to my calendar right now, you're only going to see the next few days available. You're not going to see time in August, September, October, December, none of that. I don't want you coming to my calendar and scheduling a call in November. I see. Right? Now, your business, you may be a little different. You know, people, that prospect may be a little different as far as the timeline, but I want scheduled appointments soon. Like, I always go for the next day. If you go to my calendar, you're only going to see tomorrow and the next day. Right? So, that's <laughs> just me personally. So, in this case, I would at least uncheck September, October, November, December, um, maybe, maybe even uncheck August and just leave it July 23rd to the 31st. Now, what I do is I'll come in here weekly and I'll extend the date. Oh, right? I see. I so that's see. just how I work it. I'll come in once a week and, and I'll- That make makes sense. Date. That makes sense. So, so if I go to your calendar right now, I can only schedule a time up to the 31st. Got it. Got right? It. So that's, that's how I kind of work it. No, so that's fine. That makes perfect sense. Sessions, um, scroll down. So number of sessions, one, that's fine. And yeah. then anyone booking booking notice. Me personally, I don't take same day appointments. Now you may, you may, if someone wants to talk real estate, well, shit, schedule a call today, right? You may take same day appointments and that's fine. But here you can just, there's options, right? If you hit the drop down, there's many different options. Minimum booking notice. Don't allow same day booking. Don't allow I bookings see. for the today and tomorrow, I right? Nice. So I, I kind of have to right now. So yeah, oh, for sure. For sure. So leave that as is no booking restrictions. Perfect. And then you can always block off dates. You could block off Christmas. You could block off whatever, right? Mm. You can always block off specific mm -hmm. dates as well. So now scroll to the top. That's it for that page. Scroll to the top. And so now we're going to hit save and we're going to go to registration. Yeah. So save a next. You always have to hit the green save, right? You always have to hit the green save and then you can go save a next. So here it's free. There's no paid registration right you can schedule a call free so hit save we don't need that one hit save no that's the time zone conversion oh save on the registration okay hold yeah, on so so back up hit save on the registration yeah the green yeah. One. there you go perfect and then time zone that's fine save and next yeah my bad I the success read. is simply when they go to your calendar um watch for example go to my calendar go to my calendar Schedule a call. Schedule 9 a.m. Schedule that call. Just schedule it. I'll, I'll cancel it. As you go through my flow, you hit next. You hit name and email. And then it comes to right here. Wait, 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 wait. That is my success. That's as simple as I put mine. Almost done. Click button below to confirm appointment. And the reason why I have you confirm here, you click the blue button. So go back to your page. Go back to Kartra. This is a success page. So go back up to Kartra. This right here, scroll down. So right here, congratulations. Your appointment has successfully been booked. So, so as you can see my page, go back to my page. I don't have all that text. You could, you could put all that text. That's all I put, you know, but, but you could put whatever you want. You can put more information. You could put a link to your website, whatever. You can do whatever the hell you want right here um, as a quick message. But what we're going to do for sure is we're going to include that button that they click on. So go back to mine real quick. The reason why I have that button confirm here, go ahead and click on it. The reason why I have that, that button, because it takes you to another page. It's why fine. is this page so important? Why is that link? Thank splash? You for is that a splash? Splash? No, splash. No, that's the thank you. Thank you page. No, thank you. Yes. But I had you, I strategically <clears throat> set it up this way where you, you have to click that button and it brings you here. Why do you think bringing you here to this specific domain is so important? Or to, to measure for Facebook? Yes, buddy, you got it. You got it. 
Anyone who lands on this link, I give that link to Facebook. That link is set up in a custom audience. My Facebook pixel is on this page. So Facebook's now tracking who lands here. That link, the five step blueprint.com forward slash thank you for scheduling. That link is set up as a custom audience. So now anyone who lands here inside of my Facebook ad manager, I have this custom audience set up as scheduled appointments. Now, okay. as I go and run future ads, I exclude this audience because yeah. if you've already scheduled an appointment with me, you don't need to keep seeing my ads. Yeah, it's a waste of work. Right? So that's why these pages are so- Oh, I see. So that's when I start to do the triage. So I exclude this. Mm -hmm. Yes, you start to exclude this audience. Anyone because who- Because otherwise you read is you people. Mm -hmm. Make sense? So reality, that's the two very important. The splash versus thank you. Thank you, exclude them because it means you're already scheduled. Done. Yes, yes. So okay. Got it. go back to Kartra and let's, um, we can set up a page later because we need a page. Um, that's the, the thank you for scheduling page. So there's really three pages, three pages. Squeeze page, thank you page, and thank you for scheduling page. Those are the only three pages, man, you need. That's it. Those three pages, that's it. So if we can master those three pages, we're going to capture yeah. a ton of leads. That's it. That's all it takes. Yeah. So, so here, scroll down over here at the bottom. Um, this is where we would put the page right there where it says button text. Click here, right at the top. Click here, button tech down. No, no, you passed it down right there. Button text. Click here, right? So this is where we would put the page, but we got to go create the page first. Got so and I'm, I'm going to transfer it with, with with what I'm going to give you right now. So we'll do yeah. this part. We'll do this part later. We'll come back to this part. So hit save, hit the All green right. one, save, and then save a next. So it's always the green button and then save a next. So email confirmation and reminder. This right here is when someone schedules an appointment, then they're going to receive a booking confirmation email right away. Just like you, when you schedule like right now, you just did the example of scheduling right. a call with me. You receive an email right away right? That's the confirmation email. So go ahead and click on yes, communicate with your users. Of course. Yeah. This is where, um, actually we have to integrate the, 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 your email, which is what we'll do next. We have to integrate your email with Kartra. Um, and right. To link this to Gmail. Okay. Got it. No, no, not Gmail. We need an actual business email, which I'll, I'll, I'll talk about. Okay. Right now. Okay. But so for right now, just put no, don't send. We'll come back to this part because we definitely need, um, need the email to go out. So hit save. We'll come back to this part. Permissions, um, actually save a next, save a next. So it's always a green one and then save a next. So ses session cancellation, I, I allow. So if you need to, if you need to cancel for whatever reason, okay, save. go ahead and, and cancel. So no, hit yes, allow cancellations. Allow people to cancel. If they need to cancel, cancel. So hit save, the green one on, yeah. And then right here, session approval, instant approval. If you go to my calendar and there's a time slot available, I do not need to manually approve, uh, right? Yeah. It's oh, yes. an approval. So hit save Got it. and then save and next. And then automations right here. This is where we're going to, do you use Google calendar? Yes. Perfect. We're going to sync this with Google calendar. Um, so this calendar can, can integrate and sync with Google. So based on your, your appointments, that's why right now if it, it's up to, you want to, this is something you may want to think about because actually it may not take that much thought. If you're, if you're working off of a, off of a Google calendar, you have obviously appointments with, with your work and other things going on. If I go to your Karcher calendar and I go to schedule a call, let's say you put all them hours, you're available from 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11, but on your Google calendar, you actually have something with your work at that time. I go to your cart, your calendar, that slot won't be available. I see. Because it's synced with your Google calendar. It's, it's, it, it knows that you already have something going on with something else, right? So it's not going to allow that cart your time slot to be open, which is a good thing, right? So, so sometimes a person will set up a whole nother Google calendar just for, just for this, but I wouldn't. I would leave everything on one because okay. your Google calendar is your life. That's your other appointments as well, right? So yes. If you go to my Karcher calendar, I don't want you to schedule at 10 a.m. on one Google calendar when on my real day-to-day -day Google calendar, I have something going on at 10. Right. I'd rather have it sync all with my one calendar. So we're going we're gonna to integrate this part. We'll get back to the sync with your Google calendar. We have to integrate it first, but um, we'll come back to this part. Assign tag, subscribe to list. 
Why don't we do that real quick? Let's set up a list. Click on change on subscribe to list. Anyone well, who uh, down, subscribe to list, hit change next to subscribe to list. Oh, change here. Yeah, it's uh, all about the change. It's all about the change. Yep. So yes, subscribe to list. So anyone who schedules an appointment, I want to put them on a list. Yes, subscribe to list. Hold on. Done. Okay, so create new list. Let's go ahead and create new list right there in the blue. Create new list. Uh, blue, blue, right blue, below blue. the drop down. Oh, got it. Okay, so name of list, scheduled appointments. That's all that is. That's all this is. Anyone who scheduled an appointment, I want them specifically on one list um, because I can manage that list. I can send it to anybody an email that's on that list, right? So the public description, that's what an individual sees if they ever unsubscribe from your list. So as you go and unsubscribe from anyone's list, if you go to your inbox and you see junk mail and you go and unsubscribe, there's a little brief description of what email that was or what list that was. So here I would put something like, you know, thank you for, thank you for scheduling a call regarding real estate or thank you for your time regarding buying and selling real estate or that's just a simple description that they would see if they were to unsubscribe from this list. Thank you for scheduling a call yeah, for buying and selling real estate. And you can always change that later. Yeah, it's all customer. Okay. So right? create. So anyone who goes to your calendar, click on add and schedules an appointment, they're going to land on this list. Okay, so add. And you know what? Go ahead and click on save. Let's, let's, let, let's, let's assign a tag as well. So hit change next to assign tag. Click on change, uh, what, assign uh, yeah. tag. Let's set yeah, up a tag yeah. as well. Anyone who schedules an appointment, they're tagged. Oh, okay. So yes, assign tag. And we're going right? Yes, assign. Yes, yeah. assign tag. And then create new tag, the blue one below the drop down, and, and the same name for this one, scheduled appointments. Scheduled mm -hmm. appointments. The moment they 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 schedule, they're going to be on a list and they're going to be tagged. So I can, I can, I can, I can categorize my leads. I can, I can segment my leads. I can send certain email emails to certain people who have a tag. So the tag, you, you'll start to learn more about tags, but those are super, super important. And then tag description. I just do the same thing. Scheduled appointments, scheduled appointments, same okay. for the tag description. And then, um, and then the category, I mean, I, I would just leave it no category because these are just general appointments. So um, all appointments, just no category. So click on um, click on the drop down, no nothing selected, and then just go no category. Yeah, no category in particular. Perfect. And then the create the green one. That's it. So that person's tagged. That person's on a list, and that's my scheduled appointments. So click on the blue one to add it, and that's it. And we won't subscribe them to a sequence. Um, hit the green one, save, and that's it. So down now we go to the very bottom and save and next. And that's it. So now we're done. So now click on Karcher hosted page. We're going to integrate a domain. That's your, your, so hit the pencil to the right, hit the edit. We can customize the back end. And right now by default, you're using that Karcher link. But what we're going to do is we're going to eventually get our own custom domain. So your custom domain is going to mask that ugly link, right? But for right now, customize the back end of it, the forward slash to the very right, take away all them characters. And, and, and maybe just put calendar or, or, or appointments or whatever. Like, no, to the very right, very right. No, 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 X out of this. Yeah, hold on, let me see if I can go back. Is that Zoom, is there a Zoom menu bar in your way? You can drag that out of the way. Uh, this one? I don't know, I don't, I can't see it on your end, but normally there's a menu bar that's in the way. All right, so I'm trying to customize. No, that, yeah, it's that part, it's the forward slash, it's that, so. You already have calendar. And again, no one's going to see this because we're going to get our own domain to mask it. So. Doesn't let me. To... No, no, no. It's to the right. You got to take away that to the right. Yeah, delete that. So here you could just put anything, anything. It's it's already, count. the word calendar is already there. So um, maybe should uh, schedule something. Schedule, yes. Yeah, schedule. Yeah, schedule. And you can, yeah, so with no, no D, just schedule. So now that's changing the URL. Now hit the green check mark to the right and you're done. 
So now you can copy. Oh, that. I see. It's adding here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So copy that. Open it up in a new tab, and there goes your calendar. Now, what 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 we want to do is we want to add your profile picture. We want to add a logo, um, at the top. So there's your 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 title, real estate advice. Mm -hmm. Right. So so um, that's that's your basic calendar. That's how simple it could be. So now, here's what I want to do now. Let's go into um into the top right hand corner of Kartra and click on yeah let's get out of here so we're going to go to the top right of Kartra x out of this one x out of that second one yeah top right your profile picture let's 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 update this really quick so there there the profile go ahead and add um your 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 profile picture there the interface okay give me a second here right yes so let's just add a headshot um, yeah, I have it somewhere. Yeah, that's why. Looks good, man. Done. Save. Awesome. Save. And then um, what we'll want to do now, so we saved it. And now, actually, did, did it save? I actually, company it. name. It's asking, yeah, put put your, your real estate name in the company. Okay. The one I work for? Or? No, just your your properties. Your um, just your, your, your yeah, your name, your your real estate name. Or property property? Nah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the name you're going with. Is this one in in properties? Yep. Right. So yeah, put that. Yeah, down. yeah. Yeah, perfect. So scroll down. Let's see what else we need. Okay, we shouldn't need anything else. So now. Go ahead and um, hit save at the top, and we should be able to save it now. Separate this from the January one. For okay, Perfect. so that's that's that, adding the picture, adding the company name. Um, now, what we want to do next is we want to integrate it with your Google Calendar. So let's hit my, my integrations to the left. My integration to the left. Yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. And then here, we're going to simply um, go to Google and click on the three dots. So the Google, yep, click on the three dots, new integration, and then connect. Perfect. And then just choose, yeah, choose whichever one. Yeah, I continue, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, so go ahead and click on your name again there. Oh, I need to check this probably, right? Yes. Okay, sorry. Perfect. And then continue. I didn't give him rights. I get it. Oh, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. So now, now what we can do is go back to my calendars and let's add that really quick. So back to my calendars, click on the three dots, edit. Everything is about the three dots and click and edit. So now we're going to go back in, click on the green one, and then um, we're going to just simply... Um, connect them. So now save a next, and I think it's on the permissions. So save a next, save a next, One second. save a next, and we'll come back to the success confirmation message later. Save a next, save a next, save a next, save a next. Yeah, it's under automations. So right here, so hit change on sync with your Google Calendar, and then all you're going to do is put yes, and then just hit the drop down. There goes your Google Calendar, and then right there, hit the next drop down. Choose it again. There's your name, and then save. That's it. So now we go to the very bottom. We'll save a next, and that's it. So now whatever you have on your Google Calendar is now is now reflecting the time slots that will be available or not on your Karcher calendar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and and now now when people go to your Karcher calendar and schedule a call, that call will reflect on your Google Calendar. So me, I just as I'm working throughout the day, all I have is a tab open for my Google Calendar. As I'm on my cell phone, all I'm checking is my Google Google Calendar. So I'm not even checking Kartra. Like everything goes off of my Google Calendar, right? Any appointment, it's on my Google Calendar. Any Kartra appointment, it's on my Google Calendar. Sounds good. I get it. Okay. Yep. So, so that's that. Perfect. Now, 
Next. The next thing we got to do is we have to, we have to, we have to get an email. We have to, um, we have to, first of all, we have to figure out what domain we're going to use for, for this. We have to integrate a domain. We have to integrate our, our business email. The Gmail is not a business. It's not considered a business email. Okay. Um, a business email is, is off of your domain. So, so gayrealproperties.com. Okay. Then our email is Gabe at gayrealproperties.com. Okay. That Sounds business good. email. So do you have one like that or do we need to set one up through, through GoDaddy or whoever? Yeah, we can go. Uh, GoDaddy, I need one, right? Who do you, do you, what, what domains, where do you have your domains now? Do you yes, have Yes, GoDaddy, GoDaddy. Let's go okay, let's, let's pull up GoDaddy real quick. Okay, so perfect. So go ahead and let's open up that one. Um, go ahead and click on that one. Perfect. So we're going to come down to the DNS settings. So scroll to the very bottom. We're going to manage DNS. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to Kartra and um, we're going to integrate the domain. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on your profile picture in the top right and we're going to go down to custom domains. Oh, sorry. Custom domains right there at the bottom. No, it's right there in your profile picture. So click on that again. Custom domains. Scroll down. Oh, yeah, I okay. got Okay. So over here, we're going to just click on the green one, the plus, right. and we're going to only the main domain. And we're going to type in the domain right there. And the favicon, you can always add a favicon as well, which is the little logo that's, that's in the tab um, that you see there at the top of these other tabs. Over here. And for the heck of it, yeah, put your face there. Put that headshot for the hell of it. You can, can, I put it? Yeah. it. You can always change it later. But let's just put it for for just for just so we have an example. Perfect. So we'll hit confirm, and that's a little favicon. So when people are on your pages, you know your little headshots right there. So hit next, and then now what we have to do is we're going to follow the directions for step two and step three. So step two, don't no no don't don't go yet. Don't continue yet. Step two. For Kartra to plug right into your domain, you'll need to log into the car, into GoDaddy, which is where we're at, and then we have to we have to create a CNAME record with that URL. So the gpproperties.kartra.com, that bold in number two. Copy that. No, not that one. The your your URL, gpproperties.kartra.com in number two. Gpproperties. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, copy that. Oh, you want to link them? Okay, I guess. Copy that. Okay, so now we're going to go to GoDaddy and we're going to simply edit the second one down, the C name. Perfect. And then the points two, we're going to take away the at sign and we're going to paste in that link and we're going to click save. Perfect. And then now go back to Kartra. Now we need number three. So step three is now redirect the, 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 the .com to www. So now let's copy that www. The whole link, yep, copy the whole thing, copy that. And then now we're going to go back to GoDaddy and we're going to simply forward it. So go down and we're going to go to the forwarding, no, the top one, the top one. Yeah, see, so right now you have it forwarding to that other page. So now you just paste in, take out that link and paste in the new one. So take out that one and paste in the new one. Oh, sorry. Okay, so paste that in. And then what you want to do also is change, wait, 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 don't save. Change that HTTP. It's actually now uh, secure. So you're going to go S and save. That's it. So now we have everything updated over here on the GoDaddy site. So go ahead and refresh this page, refresh the GoDaddy one. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Kartra and now just take maybe, maybe maybe three, four minutes, click on yes. And then we're going to click on next. And then this right here, we have to, we have to set up our page. Dang it. We have to set up our page. Okay. So, so let me, let me transfer, let me transfer these pages to you really, really quick. So come to, um, come to, come to my screen really quick. Yeah. So go to stop share. Let me, um, let me click on let me go to my shared pages. So I'm going to transfer over this seller guide um, for
funnel to you really quick. And all we got to do is just simply edit, edit the actual pages. So I'll go to my campaigns. Yes. And then I already have the funnel already done. So it's right here, seller guide funnel. Sounds good. And yeah. all I got to do is simply share it. So okay. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, I'm going to share with a specific Kartra user. So what is your, when you log in a Kartra, not password, when you log in, what? Yeah, G Parvati at Gmail. Okay, spell it for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. You know what no, 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 I got to type it on my end. G P A R, no, P A R H O P I. No, T T, T as in Tom. Yeah, at gmail.com. That's it. Okay, gmail. perfect. At gmail.com. Okay, perfect. So now I I'm should be able to see on my campaigns, right? Oh, yeah, it's going to be instantly. So, so now I'm going to stop share. Go ahead and, and share your screen again. I get it. Oh, that's pretty cool too. So I just transferred a whole funnel to you. So we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to come back to this part. Hit back because it's not it. We gotta we gotta in, we gotta we gotta accept it first. Yeah, we'll come back to this part. Hit back. Let's just get out of this part. Hit cancel. So now now refresh this page. There it is. There. So now you have the red dot. So it, it goes over instantly. So now at the top, available campaigns. Click on that one. Available campaigns. This right here just says David sent, sent over a new campaign. So okay. at the top, available campaigns, the red dot, click on that one. No, available campaigns. Okay, so now it's a seller guide funnel. So click on the three dots and you're gonna simply accept. Got it. Okay, and then close campaign successfully imported and go ahead and hit the three dots again and deploy. And then just go ahead and give it a, a prefix. It's like an abbreviation. You're going to edit that later on. Um, but go ahead and just put put your initials for now. That's fine. Just, yeah, perfect. Import. Import. Yes. Okay, so now here's what went, here's what just transferred to your account. A few pages, um, a list, a sequence, and I think, and I think that's it. And then yeah. we can just work on that and we'll edit that. Um, we'll work on that tomorrow if you have time tomorrow. So exit. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And then now... Click on my communications to the left. So now you should have my communications at the top. Now you should have a list. Um, go to at the top, click on list. And this is simply, um, and you can always edit this. So so actually, um, did the list come over or did it not? Refresh no. this page. It might not have. I don't think I had the list in that campaign after all. Um, I think it was hit on hit, hover over communications and click on sequence. I might have taken it out of that one. I think the pages just came over. So sequence. Okay, so click on my pages to the left. So now, yeah, it was just the pages. Okay, so it's just the pages. But um, we'll, we'll create a list and we'll create a sequence. That's easy. So now you have these pages. So the opt-in, the thank you, the seller guide, thank you, and then the call confirmed. Those are those are all the pages. And then, and then the email sequence one that email sequence one page, that was what I was trying to explain earlier regarding the um, the video sales pages. That email sequence one, that's a simple page that I'll put in my emails. So, so you don't have to worry about that one right now, but it's the it's the seller guide opt-in and the thank you page. That's what that's what we're gonna be going off of. So we can always edit, change out the image, the color, the yellow button, all that. We'll do all the editing later. But now we have the pages. So now let's go back to domains. Hit the profile in the top right. Now that we have the pages there, so now we go back to custom domains and we might have to do it again. So hit the green one and then only the main domain and then go ahead and yeah, type it in again. Now we just simply, it's gonna be Karcher pages. So we're working on index and both of them are gonna be the same index and error. So the site hit the drop down. On, on site in the middle, select site, no site in particular, no yeah. site in particular. And then the Karcher page to the right, click on that. And these are the pages. So the index, I'll just go with opt-in. And then and then the, even the error, I'll do the same thing, opt-in. So opt-in and do the 404 error page. You could do the same thing for, for that one. So select site, it's Karcher page. And then site, select site, no site. And then Karcher page, opt-in. <laughs> That's it. And then next. Okay. So now this, now, now it's in process. So this right here will take 
I don't just maybe hit close. This maybe take maybe maybe four minutes, and then we'll refresh the page, and the processing will say connected. Once it's connected, now we can go to my pages and change out the link for all these pages. So so let's let this sit for a few minutes. Go to my pages. So now, once that is connected, once that domain is connected, now I can click on the three dots <clears throat> on any of the pages, and I can go to get code or link, get code or link. <clears throat> and now- That goes to link. Facebook, right? What's that? He's gonna go to Facebook, right? No, this is your link for your pages. This is your domain. No, the code. Oh, okay. okay. What code? The page code is gonna go on Facebook. Uh, yeah, 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 we're gonna set that up later. But, but get the page link, we gotta set up the domain first. So get the page link. So now, as you hit that edit button to the right, when once your domain is connected, which will be connected in the next few minutes, you'll hit the drop down right there where the Kartra link is. You'll hit that drop down, and you'll see your domain. Oh, I see. you choose yourproperties.com domain, and all you do is change out that those characters to the right, the TTW four hundred seven. So now right. every page is your domain forward slash seller guide your domain forward slash thank you for scheduling your domain forward slash whatever right mm -hmm. so now every page that we create inside of Kartra is all tied to your domain now Got it. does that make sense so right now take away the ttw take away that this is a, this is the um email page so just put email one whatever just just for practice email one and then you hit the the green check mark and, and that becomes the link. But again, that once your domain is, is integrated, that's going to be your.com, your.com forward slash email one or whatever you want to name it. And then we take that link and then we take that link and we go into the ads manager and set up our custom audiences um, from there. Okay, so, so let's hit close real quick. And so let's just recap because everything is, is in. We have, we have my communications. Let's go to my communications real quick. Let's create a list because uh, uh, that's what I thought I transferred over, but I, I guess I didn't. Click on list at the top, list. And then we'll simply click on the green one over here at the bottom. And we need a list for our seller guide, for our seller guide leads. Seller guide leads. That's the name of the list. Seller guide leads. When they go to that page, they opt in. They need to land on a list. Seller guide leads. Seller guide, you can go seller guide list or seller guide leads, whatever it's because that's what they're, they're leads, seller guide, you know, leads. And then the public description, thank you for downloading my seller guide. Thank you for downloading my 2021 seller guide or whatever. Okay. Perfect. That's the list. And then the sequence, I'll, I'll show you how to do the sequence on our next call because I don't want to. This this already way too much information for you, you know. Um, at one time, in my opinion, I, I I would be lost right now. But hit next, and that's the list. So now we have a list. Go click on back to my list, back to my list, and then next. Okay. So now anyone who opts in is going to go on that list. So you can start seeing. So as we start to run Facebook ads, they opt in to download the seller guide. You're going to see that zero count start to increase. That's where the leads are landing is on this list, seller guide leads. Okay. So, um, and then we also want to set up a sequence, but we'll, we'll do that later. So um, we have my communications, which is the list, our leads, our tag. So click on tags right at the top. You can see that one tag that we just created, which was appointments. So there goes our, our tags. We'll start creating different tags for different things um, in the future. And then communications, we went over broadcast and, and sequence, which is the automation, the sequence, which we'll go over on our next call. And then my pages uh, to the left, we have our pages. Um, the form is what we need to create as well. In fact, let's set that up really, really quick. Actually, there's the form. There, there is the form. That form is what's tied to the page. So the, the squeeze page, the opt-in page. That's the form. So, so that's, that's fine there. Um, and then my videos, in fact, you know what, let's, let's, let's add your video really quick. And then, and then, and then yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll check to see if the domain is integrated after we do the video. So now the video is there. Let's go to my pages. Let's put that on a thank you page real quick, just for practice. Um, so go to the thank you seller guide. Thank you. Click on the three dots and go to oh, sorry, sorry. click on the wrong. Yeah. yeah I get it. Click on the three dots and then edit. Let's manage my categories. Click on manage my categories. Let's take it out of the shared funnel. Manage my categories. 
no, click on right below, manage my categories. You see it in blue. Okay, so now over here, let's create, or you can just, you know what, edit that shared funnel. Edit, hit the pencil next to number four, just simply edit the name. This is seller guide funnel. Seller guide, seller guide, seller guide funnels. Seller guide funnels. So all your pages pertaining to this one campaign will be in this one category, seller guide funnels. Or seller guide pages, whatever, whatever. You can always change it. Seller guide pages. And then hit the green one. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now hit done. Now that makes more sense. So now everything with these pages are all going into that category. So click on edit, the green one. And then and then here you can also change the GP. You can do it later on. But, you know, you put the initials. You can always edit that name of the page as well. So as we come in here, it's going to take you through a brief start tutorial. Go through all this later because it's, it's very informative. Um, it just shows you what everything is to the left-hand side. So as we come into the builder, everything to the left is, is what this is describing. Um, but I'm going to give you a crash course on the builder. It's so, it's so much more basic than any of this stuff. You don't even need any of this stuff, but, but I want you to read all that later. So don't, don't, don't check the don't show again. So as we come in here, as we come into the page builder to the left, to the left, what you always want to focus on when you first come into a page for the first time is click on settings and then you want to click on SEO parameters and page title. So this is the simple title at the top. Schedule your call now, the page title. That's what people see in the tab. So right there at the top, you have these other tabs open. Thank oh, you for scheduling, right? So it's what they see in the tab. No. Page title at the top. Schedule your call now. At the top. Schedule your call now. Schedule your call. To the left. Right there under page title. Schedule, Schedule. your call now. No, it's at the top. Up. Right there. Schedule your call now. Right there. Oh, I see. <laughs> Schedule your call now. That right there is what people see in the title of the tab. These tabs that you have open up here at the top, domain manager, right? These tabs that you have open, that's that name right there. So you can name this whatever you want. Um, this is the thank you page. So that's what I had in the title of the thank you page tab. Schedule, schedule your call now. You could put whatever you want. Thank you for downloading my seller guide, whatever. It's what they see in the title of the tab. So here I need to put something, right? No, no. What I'm talking about is a title, the page title. Schedule your call now. That's what I'm talking about. So so you can name that whatever you want, or you can just leave it as is. I see. I see. So it can always change it. Got it. Got yeah. It. But that's what they see in the tab. You see your tabs that you have open at the top? Yeah. Thank you for scheduling. Right? You have these tabs open at the top. That's the title. So so scroll down. Anytime you change anything, you always have to scroll down and click on the green apply. So apply. Just, just get in the habit of, of click and apply. You always have to hit that green one. Um, and then and then from here, hit settings again to the left, settings. And then the tracking code. No, the tracking code. So the tracking code, that's where your Facebook pixel goes at the very bottom, Facebook ad tracking code. That's right. where we got to grab our pixel, our, yeah, our pixel and put it right there on the page, which we'll do on our next call. Uh, but that's where your Facebook pixel goes. And then sections and components. That's all you're, you're working out of is sections and components to the left. So click on sections, sections, you have sections, and then below it, you have components. So these are all different templates that you can build a page from. Headline, text, buttons, click on the buttons. If you want to add a button to a page to the right, buttons. So you're only working out of sections and components, okay? You don't need pop-ups. You don't need alert bar, help desk, your code. You don't need any of that. It's sections and components. Okay, nice. Everything's out of there. Now, in this case, the template is already done for you. So you don't even need to do much. All you need to do is just edit the image in the background, change the yellow if you don't like the color, whatever. So that's basic. So X out of this block template to the left, X out. Let's get rid of this part. Let's X out. Perfect. Now scroll down. So now over here, you can change out the logo. You can hover over the text and edit the text. You can change the icons at the bottom. You can change the copyright to the bottom. 
All you do is just hover over, click and hit the pencil. And, and that would take away the logo and you can put your own logo there. So this is, this is the template and we're going to just work around it. So in this case, here's what we want to do. We want to go back to the left. It's either sections or components. I think it might be, click on either one, sections. We're looking for video. I think it's components. Go to components. Yeah, it's components. We're looking for video. So videos right here, and there's just different templates of, a, of an actual video. So look, scroll down. You can see one has a shadow, right? They're just, it's just preference. Like it's all, it's all just a video slot. So just click. Here's what we're going to do. This is very, very important. As you click, you got to hold the click. You hold the click down. Okay. So click, hold it down and drag it. You now don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. No, go back to the right. Go back to the right. Go back to the right. Oh, you let it go. Click, hold the click. Don't let it go. Scroll to the right. Now you have these orange lines. That's just showing you all the places where you can put it. But what you're going to do is you're going to hover over the, the, the orange line and wait till it turns green. So put it right above this, this image. So go up to the orange line. No, down, down, the next one down. It turns green. Right when it turns green, let it go. Let it go. So, so right when it turns green. So now X out of the block templates to the left. So there goes your, your video slot. So now let's, let's delete this image at the bottom. Hover over that one. Hit the X. We're going to delete this image. Hit the X. Yeah, hover over the image. Hit the X. So that deletes that. Now we have our video slot. So hit the edit pencil at the top of the video. Hover over the video. Hit the pencil. I get it. I get it. Yeah. And then now all we're going to do is we're going to go cart your video. Select category, which we put it in a category, seller guide, and then select video, which we titled it seller guide. Thank you. Video. Apply. apply. Okay. That's it. So now we always got to click apply the green one, right? So now we go to the top, right? The actions, we're going to save progress. There, and let, let me explain this real quick. Yeah. Okay. You want to save changes from, okay. okay. Yeah. So X out of this. Saving, save progress, X of that. So here's, click the green one in the top right. Remember this, there's a three click exit. So as we go to exit the page, number one, we save progress. Number two, we publish live. Go ahead and publish live. Click yeah. on publish. One, one is done, right? Publish live. No, even when it's not done, just go ahead and publish live. Now get the page link. Here's what you want to do. This is the order I'm taking you in. So we publish live. We save progress, and then we publish live. We get the page link. Click on that. And let's hit the pencil. Let's see if your domain is now connected. Hit the drop down to the left, and let's see if your domain is there. Perfect. There's your domain. We are now connected to Kartra. Click on your domain, and then change out. You always want to change out that ugly DKA405. Always change that out. So this is the thank you page. So what I normally do is whatever I named the page title. That's mm -hmm. what we went over in the beginning. We clicked on settings, the page title, the name of the tab. I Let's normally see. put that there. So thank you page. What would be thank you? What did we name the title? Schedule your call now. Schedule the call now. Yes, you're right. Okay. So, and when it comes to the domain or URL, it's all lowercase. So schedule your call now and then and then um and then oh and one what no space or? no it's all lowercase on a url on a domain it's yeah, all, yeah, 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 all yeah. lowercase no capital s schedule so, oh i see i see i see what you mean. so schedule your call now and that becomes the link um for your thank you page and so again, on our next call, copy it, go ahead and copy the link, open it up in a new tab, just so you can see it. Um, but we'll do all the editing to the page later. But now we have a link. Now we could take that link to Facebook, create our custom audience, create our custom conversion. We could put our pixel on the page and now we're in business. So people land here, they press, go ahead and press play. Thank you for downloading. Perfect, man. There it is there. Got it. Perfect. Perfect. So, so now we hit close and let's, 
Yeah, let's hit close. So here's what we did. There, there's a three hit close, click on close. So top right actions, three click exit. We saved progress. We published live and changed the domain. And then we return a dashboard. That's how you exit the page. Okay. You publish live and you change that link. Now over here, once we're over here, go ahead and click on the three dots to the opt-in. Now let's go. Let, no, 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 no. Get coder link. Click on get coder link. And now we can change out the link from here as well. So get the page link. I can change out the link as I publish live and exit the page. Or from here, I can click three dots, get the page link and change my domain from here as well. So click on the pencil and change that domain. Hit the drop down, choose your domain. And this is the, the squeeze page. So th this could be seller Thank guide, you. Free seller be guide or whatever, like this free seller guide. Yeah. Free seller guide. That makes sense. So this becomes your new link. So hit the, um, hit the check mark. Okay. Perfect. Now here's what I, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. Copy that entire link right there. Copy that entire link and let's have it forward. Let's go to GoDaddy and let's go to the bottom forwarding and let's change out that. Let's change out that. Let's change out that. Hit the edit and let's put in this new one. So if they go to your.com, wait, 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 wait. Take away the HTTPS on the, oh, sorry. right there, right there. Now just the get... www. Take away the forward slash. Yeah. Because just... you have it on the other side. Perfect. So hit save. So now as they go to hit save again, as they go to your.com, it's going to forward them straight to the seller guide page. So in fact, go ahead and test it. Go ahead and type in your.com at the top. Not from here. Go to another tab. Yeah. Yeah. Do it from. Yeah. Perfect. So go ahead and type in your.com. Bam, there it is there. Yep. We'll edit all this later. But you can see your domain at the top. There's your domain. Got it. Okay. So go back to Karcher real quick. And 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 so yeah, so that's 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 all of Karcher, Gabe. Um, you're working out of my communications, my pages, my forms, my video, my calendar. That's it. And and it's mainly these pages. Um, in fact, you know what? Go to um Go, let's do this last part. Go to my calendar. We got to connect it to that call confirm page. Go to my, actually, you know what? Change out the link real quick. Change out the link. Go back to my pages. Change out the link. The call confirmed. Hit the three dots. Go to, go to, hit the three dots. Go to get code or link. Remember, we want to add our domain to every page from this point on. Get the page link and then edit this link. So hit the drop down. And this is call confirmed. When they go to your calendar, schedule the call, they're, they're, they're then taken to this, this thank you page. This is call confirmed. Okay, confirmed. Perfect. Okay, so now my calendar is to the left. And then hit the three dots and we're going to edit. Okay, perfect. So now click on edit, the green one again. And then all we're going to do now is simply um, save and next. Yeah, save and next. Save and next. Save and next. It's a success. So we're going to change this right here, the success. So change. Nope, go back. Go back. Sorry, sir. Click on change. And then um, scroll down. So we're going to, um, yeah, scroll down. And then we're going to simply work with this part right here. So to the very right, that shaded button, shade that on to the very right. It says button to the right. No, up to the right, to the right. No, down. You pass it right there. Button. Well, I'm blind. Uh, da, 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 da. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Button. Next to the button text, you got click here. We're looking at this URL. So oh. right there, shade that on. Okay. So now the external URL to the left, hit that drop down. You're going to go to Karcher page. Cart your pages, select site, no site in particular. The page is the call confirmed page. So the call confirmed, perfect. And then, and then the button text, click here to confirm your appointment on the button text. No, down, button text. Click here 
to confirm your appointment. Perfect, so now if you scroll down, you'll see it right below and there's the button. So click here to confirm your appointment. And so now at the very top, go ahead and save it. Save and next. Okay, save and next. Save and next. And then um, and then and then and then we're good. So now save and next. And we'll change out this link over here. So Kartra hosted pages. Let's integrate your domain to the calendar as well. So hit the pencil, hit the drop down, choose your domain, and then now there's your domain for your calendar. So you can always change the word schedule capital, no capital. It's all lowercase. So hit, hit the, um, so here, so look here in my case, let me give you an example really quick. That's the link, right? There's your .com forward slash schedule. So rather than me giving someone a forward slash, I just went out and this is just me. This is just personal preference. I just went out there and got zoom call with david.com. Right. And when you go to zoom call with david.com, it forwards to that one, for example, right? So, but that's fine for now. So go copy your link, open it up in a new tab and, and schedule a call real quick with yourself. So copy it, open it up in a new tab, schedule the call and let's, let's see the flow. So so next, and then there goes Okay, so look, here's the success, right? Here's the success part. Congratulations, your appointment has been successfully booked. Check your email inbox. So that is all stuff you can customize. And then the click here to confirm your appointment. So they click and then they're taken to your call confirmed page. Mm -hmm. This page is the most important also because again, that link at the top, the URL is what we're gonna set up in Facebook as a custom audience. Yeah, Those yeah. who land here, are now excluded from seeing future ads. Make sense? Yeah. So that's that, Gabe. What time can you do it tomorrow? Can you do it nine or? Yeah, what yeah, time? we can jump on at nine tomorrow. Let's do it nine. Uh, okay. Do I need to confirm? You tell me. No, no, no. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll schedule it right now and then I'll Please, talk yeah. to you tomorrow. And I'll see yeah, you. I'll see you tomorrow at night. night. Yep. Sounds good, buddy. Talk to you soon. Hey, thanks talk for tomorrow. your today was uh, intense. Yes. Thank yes, you. you're very, very welcome. Have a great day. And yes, have a good one. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye.